Hello. So I am going to try to talk, talk quietly because my mouth is really close to the camera mic. And I am going to do another monoprint demo um, to what I did earlier in the private group that I have on my page. I, um, I forgot to have the mic on, so the demo didn't work very well. And so we are going to do um, do it again. So I'm going to start because there's something I kind of want to try. So this will be good. So Jelly Arts did a video a little while ago where they put magazine on the their print, their plate. And, uh, and weirdly, the image transferred. I mean, I guess I kind of knew this all along. Um, I've been using the Jelly Plate for a while, and I usually do... Um, you know, silhouettes and stuff, but I think this is pretty cool. So I have this uh, girl who is underneath here set up. Magically, she'll end up on the plate. Okay, I have a really thin layer of crimson down, and I tore the paper so I kind of remember where her head was, and I'm going to put her down, and this first one is just a sample to see what the technique is, because this will have to dry before I'll be able to pull the print. Oh, make sure we, I think maybe the layer might have been too thick. Let's see. Okay, we're going to pull this off. Oh, it didn't work at all. My paint was too thick. We'll give it another second. Well, she's kind of there. Maybe this, this is a different magazine than I was using before. Can we see her? I'm going to flip this around. Mm, kind of. There's a little bit of a ghost of a face. Uh, there's some bubbles. Things didn't work quite right. Um, but anyway, I'm going to set that aside to try, dry because I really want to try this other thing. So I was sorting through um, papers and I found these silhouette women that I'd already cut out. And I was wondering, well, I already used this one. Uh, I was wondering if I couldn't just like put them down, right, with text behind them. Here's a page with a bunch of text like that. And maybe I'll use this one. A bunch of text and then see if all of that would go on as well. I got a bunch of paints. What color is this? Purple. Oof. I love purple. Magenta. We'll try magenta. Okay. So I'm going to put down, oh, some dried paint too came off. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Let me move these ladies over here. And so let's see if this works. So I'm going to try to get a, even a thinner coat than I did just a second ago. Seems pretty thin. Acrylic works so fast or dries so fast. I really need to uh, get this on here. Okay, so here is the woman and then the text. And now I'm just going to see if I can't transfer all of that. That would be really, 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 really cool. I hope it works. I really, really, really hope it works. Okay. So just remember, my mouth is really close to the camera, so. Oh, look at that. I'm sorry, I'm so loud. I can't help it. It's very exciting. Oh my God. Look at this. Do you see what just happened? Holy awesomeness. I cannot wait to pull this off the plate. Look, you can see all of the words. I mean, they're actually going to come out the right way, so you'll actually be able to read them, but nothing a little paint can't work with. That looks amazing. Can you believe this? Okay, this is really, really, really exciting. Do you see what we're going to get here? I don't know. Can you see it? Ooh. Will it focus? You see the... Well, it's kind of shaking a little bit. There is all of that text. All of that text from this page. It's like where to buy some stuff. And then the images. I think this is like Charlie's 
anyway, uh, you know, all of the text that was on her. Unfortunately, you can only use the magazine pages one time in order to do the pull because the paint then, once the, oh, sorry, once the paint gets on this, like I might be able to do something cool with this, but like this area won't leave an impression anymore because it's like all the gaps are filled in. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. I wanna make sure it's good and dry. And then we're gonna pull this one off. You can't really see this one. I'm gonna use, I, I prepped two types of paper here. I have my bogus uh, recycled rough sketch from B Paper. It's kind of like a paper bag. And I also have some Strathmore Bristol board. Uh, which I really like to use for printmaking as well. I think for this one, since it doesn't really look like it turned out very well, um, I'm going to just use the rough sketch. Now watch, it'll look amazing. Uh, and then I'll, well, I mean, the rough sketch is actually a really nice paper. It holds up to mixed media surprisingly well. Um, it will, it can stand a lot of layers and a lot of water. It is surprisingly durable. Oh, that pink doesn't look good. That does not look promising at all. This one might be a failure, gang. I mean, are there really any failures? I'll figure out something to do with it. Oh, am I chunking? I put my camera on, like, max setting, and maybe it is behaving weirdly. This is only, like, my fourth time going live. And three of the four times, the other three times were in a private group. And two of those three times, I didn't have the mic on. Yeah, this is just a circle. We have successfully printed a circle. That's all right. Let's start a different one. Let's see if we can do something with just uh, the rest of this. I'm going to use, what color is this? Primary blue. Let's use primary blue. and see if we can get anything from that silhouette. Oh, goodness, come on, get on there, cap. Okay, let's see what we can get. Oh, this looks, maybe I didn't get enough. Well, maybe I did. We'll get the ink out, or the paint. Okay, we've got that, and now we're going to see what we can get. Oh, oh well, didn't quite put it down enough and cover everything that's okay we'll give it a sec and see what happens this time I think I used a thin enough coat of paint oh she didn't hmm. well this time she didn't come through at all that's okay and actually, this uh, print wanted to prove me wrong because there's some of the pages that had, some of the parts that had words also printed. So I think I'm going to let this dry. Maybe we'll do something else here. Maybe we'll just keep building up layers and see what we can do. It looks empty, doesn't it? I promise there's a really faint blue. Um, oh my gosh, I just set that on. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh. This is what happens when you're not careful. Luckily, it was dry. Thank goodness. I would have lost everything, and then this whole process would have been for naught. Okay. I'm going to use the Bristol board for this one. I have a really good feeling that this is going to look amazingly cool. All right. I've got like a giant goober of paint here. Can you see that? It's a giant goober. Whoop. Now there's white paint all over my fingers, but whatever. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, are you dry? I really would like you to be dry. Okay. It's like really important that it's super dry because when you add this, when you add, when you add the white paint, it's gonna, I mean, I have to roll over it, so 
if it mushes about more. That's not good. What's this blue coming from? Oh yeah, I just did blue. Okay, well that might be interesting. All right, let's put this down and hope for the best. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and we'll get a sneak peek. Uh, this is one of the reasons I love working on plexiglass. Oh, look at that. This is everything I hoped it would be. This is really cool. And look, now you could just add, um, we could add a little bit of paint on this after we pull. Um, you, could, you could journal on it. Uh, what am I going to do with it? I'm not sure yet. That looks really cool. And see, this is the thing. Jelly arts don't lie. When they, uh, when they make their videos show you the things, they really happen. Because look at that. Okay, we can't get excited about it until we pull it off the plate. Because sometimes the things don't come off. Rarely. Okay. It was a pretty thin layer of paint. Um, and a thin layer of white, so it should theoretically come off no problem. There is a lot of awesome happening on this paper. Okay, look at this. Oh. So first of all, we got the blue from the print that we tried, which is great. It gives it some nice uh, depth here. We also have some texture from old residual paint that I left on the plate. I never clean this thing because I love it when this stuff comes off the plate and sticks to um, sticks to other pieces. And then you can see like this didn't come off so that, and that didn't come off. So we have a couple spaces where um, it didn't come off, but it gives it kind of a cool, um, what's the word I want? Rough. Retro? I don't know. My, my brain isn't working right now. Um, gives it kind of a cool texture. It's nice, huh? What will we do with it? I don't love that you can actually read um, you know, because we flipped it over and put it backwards by using the paper. And then when we flipped it back, we made all of this like super visible. I guess some of it isn't bad. Beauty would be cool to call out. Facelift, that would be interesting. Eye candy. Cat Walking Dead, page 443. This must have been from, a, oh, it was from Bazaar, I think, Fashion Magazine. Or is Bazaar Fashion Magazine? I don't actually know what's in it. I've never, I've only used Bazaar. Uh, the bizarre magazine to uh, pull pages out of. This is cool. I can't wait to work on this piece some more. All right, let's do. Do we want to do some more? Uh, let's see what else we have here. I kind of like this layering technique. This piece has a lot of text on it, so we could use that. And then I had more silhouettes. Where'd they go? Here they are. So you have kind of this funky girl and this very serious businesswoman. I'm going to not do her. But also, we don't have to do it this way. We could do, we could add text. To other pages. This is cool. She's like on a on an airplane, except it says Harper's Bazaar on it. I guess that's fine. You could do something with that. Okay, let's let's try to do something like this. I don't want this though. Maybe I can just find another bit of text. Oh, actually, I'll just use this one instead. This one doesn't have. as much. What is this? Oh, actually, maybe we'll use this side. 
It used to be that I felt the most alive when I was dancing, that I only felt normal when I was dancing. I felt lost the rest of the time. Now I feel alive a lot of the time. So dance is just a plus and she is dancing. So that will be kind of cool. What color do we want to use? I always go to like red and teal right now because those are the ones I brought over. Just purple again. Keep picking up purple. And cobalt. Cobalt feels dancy. I think we're going to use red. What do we have here? Red to medium. Do we want to put this on the circle? No, there's already stuff there. All right. We're going to do this. Thin layer. This is a little thicker bodied. Um, oh, that's not it. I don't like that at all. Sorry, I don't like this red paint. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It just didn't feel right. So when I use my jelly plate, when I use my jelly plate, I often use, let me get this off of here. When I use my jelly plate, I often use like basics, Liquitec basics. I love it because it's like a softer body. And this is like a heavy body acrylic. That is a no bueno, no go, no thank you. We're not gonna use it. Now we've just got some deli paper on here so I can clean off some of that red. I mean, if whatever stays will be fine because it will look cool, but I definitely don't want that much. But that sounds awesome. Deli paper. I just throw it over there. Okay. Oh, let's try crimson in Liquitex Basics. Whoa, too much. That happens sometimes. All right, we'll spread this out. Get a nice thin. Thin, even layer. Okay. All right, and then I want her to go like here. And then, oh no, look what we did. Oh, I messed up. She's gonna land right on the dancing words. All right, I'll save them. See, that happens sometimes. In my head, I can't always work the way I want, but we're gonna save this quote and use it another time. Okay. Let's hope we're getting our transfer to work. There we go. All right. Let's get her off of there. Hmm. Let's flip it over and see. She doesn't, well, she kind of has a head. This will be interesting to pull off the plate. I kind of want to build more on it, but I don't know if it will. Oh, I could maybe just do, hmm. Let's try it with this other one. So you remember this one had some blue text on it. I know you can't see it, but it is there. So maybe we could build another thin layer. The problem is if you take a wet layer off when it's kind of medium dry, it won't, it will, um, no, this guy's, this, uh, this color is almost done for. Okay, I'm just gonna put this right here. Okay, let's be cooperative. Let 
This is kind of the same color. That maybe wasn't the right idea. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, maybe you can still see it. Yeah, you can still see it. Maybe I'll spread that around. I'll let that dry. And we'll get white. I like to use white to pull off all the paint because it is doesn't really distract from what's going on. Let's see what happens when we do this. We're just experimenting. I shouldn't use such nice paper for experiments, but they're monoprints, so you never know. Like that experiment, oh, that's cool, could end up being like totally killer. And then you have it on nice paper, you can just finish it up. So that's gonna be cool. She's gonna be, that's gonna be nice. So then once I put the white down, the blue, I don't know, you can't, can you really see the text? I can't put it down because it will print onto my scrap paper, but there is some light blue text, really fine. And then you can kind of see it in the teal as well. So we're gonna let that dry. And then we have this girl, remember her? She was only gone for a second. I don't know if she, she seems dry. <laughs> you know the one thing you should never, ever, 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 ever do? is test if your jelly print is dry by touching it. You should not do that at all. Because when it isn't, then you put a big fingerprint in it. I think I'm gonna print this on the B paper. For funsies. And then that might be, that might be it. Oh wait, I have to pull that other one off the plate for us and then that will be it. And then I have to work on some other things. I finally finished, what is happening here? Is there like a big goober on my? Okay, there's some, definitely some goobers on my roller because I super clean it all the time. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna rub this on really, really firmly. And then I am going to flip it over and I'm gonna let this just paper sit on there a little bit. I really like letting them sit together. So this looks kind of interesting. We can see the girl dancing, uh, you know, what have you. Now let's look at this for a second. This, got a chunk of dry paint. A bunch of, okay. Let's pull this off. The white was kind of thick, so. All right, look at that. Is this Madonna? Who is this? It isn't Madonna, but it's like a Madonna lookalike. Or I don't know, it seems like she's dressed like Madonna. I don't know. Some person dressed Madonna-esque. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to pull this other one and then I'm going to go work on some other stuff. Oh, and I'll also get captions on this video as soon as I can. I think I'm going to pull this one on Bristol. And then I'll have to clean up. I cleaned the studio today because it was a disaster. 
And I found little cat paw prints on my floor because somebody walked through the studio. I think it was Molly. She's our little black kitty um, because she loves to be in here. I don't know why. And uh, But I checked her paws. I checked both their paws, and they were clean as a whistle. It's like the second they got out of here, they run and ran and washed their little hands so that their little paws so that I wouldn't know who did it. I should bring them in here and put their paws next to the prints to see if it works or if they're the same size, but that wouldn't work because Molly's the same size as Becky now. Molly is going to be enormous. Okay, look at this. All right, so this is going to be really cool, I think, once we get it off the plate because you can see all of this. Hopefully all these little speckly doos will come off. And, of course, the wording, and then we have the silhouette of the woman here. And so what would I do next with this? I think I would just kind of highlight the edge, uh, one of the edges here to kind of make this and then maybe bring the dark over. Um, if we're interested, that could be another another uh, sesh together. Uh, one of these times I will go live when someone has time to watch it while I'm live. This time I decided to go live outside of my super safe group because I thought maybe I would have a a live listener, but I also realized that it's Sunday on a three-day weekend, so that's not happening. Okay, look at this. This turned out amazing. I'm really excited about this piece. I don't love this part because it's where I didn't put the uh, original paper down, but that's okay. You can t I can totally work with that. And so these are the pull prints that we did. During this sesh, we have this one, and I'll scan these because I don't know that you can see. Will it focus? You can kind of see the um, text. There's text on here as well. I don't know, is this camera good or Oh, here we go, here we go. Now you can kind of see it. Oh, stay still, so it will focus. Anyway, and then there's this one. Like if I keep moving it, it will focus. And then, uh, so there's those two that we did. And then we also did this one, also totes beautiful. And then we had this first one that did not work out so well. So I'm not sure what I would do with this one. Oh, it's upside down. You can kind of see the ghost of a head right there, maybe. Maybe there's a head there, I'm not sure. Okay, so that is our jelly plate play today. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, and we'll see what happens with these. I'm sure you'll see them again because I have a whole list of whole stack of prints that I want to work on turning into a thing. Cool. See you later.